Hello, this is Michelle Nye, and welcome to your weekly astrology. You'll have to excuse me though, because I've got a cold, but I shall soldier on. This week, we have a new moon. It's all about endings and beginnings and brand new starts. And we've got Mercury, the planet of communication, going retrograde, going backwards, bringing us a little bit of communication chaos. Here's your weekly astrology. Gemini, this week the new moon is making you feel that you want new dreams and new desires and you want to connect more spiritually and with your soul to the things, people and dreams in your life. However, be careful that you're not jumping out of something and into an illusion because it is a double-edged sword. But being the dreamer, it's important that you do have time to sit and gaze at the sky and think about the things that you want to create in your future. However, this week is actually much more important than the new moon for you because everything is going on in your sign. Well, not everything, more or less everything. We've got that Mercury, your ruler, going retrograde in your sign and you're like, oh, you might feel a little bit dizzy as you're pulled back to spaces and experiences from your past. What made you you? Who were you a year ago, 10 years ago, five years ago? This Mercury is taking you back to a conversation or a communication or an idea you had in the past. And that, you know, could go either way, but it's certainly going to free you and teach you something. And it's a powerful lesson. Be very careful with any conversations you have with people from the past this week, because you might find yourself reverting back to old patterns. Our neural pathways often repeat the same programs. And if we haven't seen someone for a while, we could end up behaving in a way that we maybe have even outgrown. It's a bit like when you go to your parents' house, we can revert to feeling like kids. Other than that, though, there's a lot of energy around you at the moment. Even though Mercury's going backwards, there's just all of this buzz and vibe, and you are alight with ideas and, and feelings and emotions and much more self-confidence. So whatever does come up, you can deal with it very well. It's like you're stepping into a phase where you know who you are, you know what you can achieve, and there's a, a real strength to that. Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is opposing the sun in your sign and it's in your position of relationships. And you may be looking at issues to do with commitment in relationships, issues to do with control and power in relationships, or you may be feeling like you want to control someone or somebody's controlling you in your close inner circle. Again, it won't last. A light is being shined on that area for you to look at. And ultimately, it may be saying to you, you know, how committed are you to the people in your life and what does it mean to you and what does it mean about where you're going? You're full of other ideas and it's about finding the balance of your dreams. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Let's go far today and it's all gonna be wonderful. Oh, well, let's run away and I know where we are going to. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel or share. And also, if you want more written and in-depth free astrology and films, go to my website, horoscope.co.uk.